Language, Time and Date Settings. These are the first settings you will be required to set. Simply follow the guided instructions on the LCD and press either of the buttons as needed. Weekly Program. Choose the area size of the zone connected to the base station. Robomo will automatically set the suitable weekly program. Follow the menu instructions. For advanced weekly program options, refer to your operating and safety manual. Testing the base station and perimeter wire position. Position Robomo inside the lawn towards the perimeter wire, at least two meters from the base station and press the go button. If the power supply is not connected to the receptacle, a no wire signal message will be displayed on the LCD upon pressing go, reminding you to connect it. If the perimeter wire is connected in the opposite direction, change wires in plot connector message will be displayed. Switch between the two wires connected to the plot connector. Follow the instructions to complete the test of the base station position. Slightly move the base station so Robomo will dock in the base station as centered as possible. Once it is positioned properly, fasten it in place using the two stakes. It is now time to test the wire position. Walk along Robomo as it is following the edge until completing one loop of the perimeter without striking an object. Walk back along the perimeter and add in wire pegs to those areas of the wire where it is not pulled down below the level of the grass tips and close to ground level. Perimeter switch location. Find a convenient spot outside the perimeter of the non-base zone, but a location that is relatively easy for you to access. The perimeter switch must be mounted vertically in order to maintain its water resistance and preferably in a dry and sheltered location. Close to a wall socket, the perimeter switch is supplied with 5 meters, 15 feet low voltage cable that needs to be connected to an indoor power supply. Press the on button to operate it. It may be necessary to set up more than one zone in order for your Robomo to work effectively over the entire lawn. Having two or even three zones does not affect the efficiency of the Robomo. Where grass areas are not contiguous or are separated by fences or other objects, it is also recommended to make each of these a separate zone. The key is to set up the zones that will allow Robomo to operate with the greatest efficiency in multiple zone lawns. Typical three plot setup solution. Locate the base station in the backyard and wire all around the three zones as one loop. Robomo will take care of the base zone automatically using the weekly program. To mow the front zones, simply take Robomo to the desired zone and press the green go button on your Robomo. Wires leading to the next plot are parallel and touching. The gap between them is for illustration only. Another option for this very same lawn is to have two separate loops. First, locate the base station and wire the backyard as your base zone. The front zones will be operated using a perimeter switch. You may purchase it as an accessory. Mount the perimeter switch on a wall or on its stake, making sure it is vertical to the ground. If there is no physical barrier between the back and front yard or part of the front yard, 
and the path is wide enough for Robomo to move freely from one to another, the front yard may be included in the base zone. The entire base zone will automatically be mowed on the days and times you schedule. Zone B is looped separately and the perimeter wire will be activated using the perimeter switch. If there is a narrow pass of less than one meter, three feet, between plots, it is suggested to set the wire as shown. This will reduce the chance that Robomo will cross between plots while mowing the inner area of one of them. To transport between plots, take Robomo away from the base station, turn the main switch off and carry it to the desired plot. For easy transport, you may purchase a remote control, offered as an accessory. If additional wire is required to complete the wire setup, use the connectors provided with the product. Strip 1.5 centimeters, half an inch, of each wire ends together. Twist the stripped ends together and screw the silicone-filled wire nut on the twisted ends. Make sure it's tight. Your Robomo RM400 will depart from its charging station at the days and times you have scheduled. Depending on how you lay the wire, your Robomo will precisely cut the edge of the lawn, avoiding obstacles. After mowing around the edges, Robomo will turn left into the lawn and continue mowing across the lawn. Different entry points from the lawn edge to its interior may be selected. This is most useful in lawns where more than one zone is connected to the base station. The perimeter wire set around the tree's flower bed as a perimeter island will stop Robomo from entering this area. Robomo will mow around all kinds of obstacles since it changes direction whenever it hits a side perimeter wire. Firm objects will be recognized by the bumper and do not need to be placed within perimeter islands. Robomo will continue mowing in different directions until the end of its designated work time. Good looking lawns are achieved by operating Robomo frequently. There are various other advanced features of the RM400. Please refer to your operating and safety manual for additional information. Manual Start This mode can be used in addition to or instead of the weekly program and allows mowing at times other than when programmed or mowing when the lawn is occupied and the yard must be cleared of debris, objects, pets or people first. Press the Go button once to mow the edge and the inner area of your lawn or Press the Go button twice to skip the edge and mow the inner area only. Manual mowing is useful for small grassy areas where automatic operation is not possible. Always walk behind Robomow. Using a remote control, activate the mowing motor. When the mowing motor starts, steer your Robomow using the navigator. Releasing the manual mow button will stop the mowing motor. This remote control is available as an accessory. Contact your local dealer or visit Robomo website. Now you're ready to enjoy your free time while your Robomo looks after your grass. Your lawn will automatically be mowed quietly and accurately. It mows, you don't. And here are some safety tips. Never let Robomo operate without supervision. Always remove the fuse before lifting Robomo or attempting any service or adjustment. Be sure to read the operating and safety manual. Keep children, pets and bystanders outside of the cutting area. Never leave Robomo unattended while operating. Do not sit or ride on the Robomo. Remove objects from the cutting area that can be thrown by the blade. Keep hands and feet away from the Robomo while operating. Robotic mowers, like other power tools, may be dangerous if used improperly or if safety instructions are ignored. 
read carefully and follow all safety instructions in the operating and safety manual. For more information, see the operating and safety manual. You are also welcome to visit Robomo website.